hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is precious if this is your first time i'm a mom of three kids and i've been married for a while on this channel i help make your family and relationship a work in progress through videos consider to press the subscribe button and the notification bell if you like my video and also check other of my videos as well thank you so much On today's video, I'm going to be talking about myself, get to know me tag. So it's a tag where I'm going to be explaining and talking about myself. A um, few months ago, I'm really sorry. I put out a question some time ago for people to ask me any question that they have. And I've not been able to answer that question. I've not been able to make a video on the questions. But today, I am making a video to answer all the questions that have been asked. Honestly, as much as I can. So the first question is, where are you from? I am from Nigeria. I live in the UK, but I'm from Nigeria specifically, but ha cuts. Who is your hero? Ha. This question. Who is my hero? If I'm very honest, my hero, I don't have a specific hero, like to say this person is my all time hero. My hero is based on my, the phase of my life, right? Every phase of my life, I have a hero for that phase of my life. Because obviously my father, my parents are my heroes. My husband is my hero. Like, I don't even want to say anything. So I have heroes based on the phase of my life, based on what I, the, the, the time of my life, the things I'm going through. I have heroes, but my family, my husband are my heroes. If you could live anywhere, where would it be? If I could live anywhere, where would it be? On earth. If I could live anywhere, where would it be? On earth. I don't want to go to Mars. I don't want to go to Mars. So I don't want to go to the moon. I don't want to go anywhere. I want to live here on earth where God said we should all live. What is your biggest fear? Hmm. This is a very good question. What is my biggest fear? If I'm very honest, my biggest fear is not doing what I want to do. Not fulfilling my purpose on earth. Not achieving the things that I want to achieve. Not touching lives because of fear. <laughs> that would be my biggest fear. Being afraid of not doing what I'm supposed to do. That's my biggest fear. And I'm, I'm trying as much as I can, I can to fight it because even starting a YouTube channel was a big decision I took. Because obviously, I, I, honestly, I'm going to make a video. Uh, hopefully, uh, please, I've been trying to bring Derek on this channel. I've been doing my best, but I hope that one day he's going to join. Please, if you want to just put on the comment section, if you want to see Derek on this video or on my channel, let me know in the comment section. So I will show him the comment that says, see, people want you to be on, on this channel so he can come. But I'm trying my best. I'm going to make a video with him and then I will explain some things which I wouldn't want to talk about on this video. So starting this YouTube jan uh, channel was a big decision I took because I have been putting it off for a long time. But my husband just... He's amazing man. Honestly, I just pray God blesses him. Hmm. What would you change about yourself if you could? What, what would I change about myself? Hi. What would I change about myself? I probably change the way I take people. Like I'm such a person that just um just take people in. Like I just accept, accept, accept. And sometimes I, I tend to take nonsense as well. I tend to take a lot of things which many people wouldn't take. But should, do I have to change that? Because I just feel that's who I am. Sometimes I say, I'm not going to do this again. I'm not going to do this again. But a few minutes later, I find myself doing it. So I don't know. Anything that is not, that is a personality that I think God is glorified with that personality, I wouldn't want to change it. But what else do I want to change about myself? I don't know. I, I don't know. What really makes you angry? Hey, even my children know what makes me angry. This one, when I am being ignored, when you ignore me, 
who who are you to ignore this girl? Who 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 are you? Anyway, yeah. Yeah, when I'm being ignored, like it drives me mad. Like and and everyone in my house knows, like when I'm calling you, I'm talking to you, and you just you're not sleeping, you are fully awake, and you choose not to answer me, you are looking for travel. Another question is, what really makes what motivates you to work hard? Mm, the life that are being touched. I said something in one of the videos I made that um I made a video of not reasons why you should not retaliate and somebody actually messaged me to say that she just watched my video and um she was about to retaliate she was about to do something and if she had gone ahead with that retaliation it would have been bad i just said god thank you for allowing me to say yes to the things i am doing what motivates me is things like this. What motivates me is the fact that, yeah, I'm doing a YouTube channel, I'm saying things, but people hear the things I say and people listen. Who am I? Look at this small girl saying things and people are just listening. So that's what motivates me. And sometimes I feel like, oh, should I continue? And I think about the things that my husband how much he motivates me i tell you what guys when i decided to start this youtube channel after a long thinking about it my husband took it upon himself to buy all my equipment i can't let him down he motivates me a lot i cannot let him down so these are the things that motivates me the, the testimonies the things i see the outcome and my husband what's your favorite thing about your career about my career is it my job or this favorite thing about my career is the fact that i'm helping people i'm helping people to get a diagnosis doing the things i need to do in the lab if you don't know i'm a biomedical scientist by profession so i'm that's my job in this whole social media thing i'm saying things that are helping marriages helping families help helping women marriage and family relationship is my passion i know that our marriages can work i know that marriage is a beautiful thing the only thing is that the devil tries as much as he can not to make our marriages work and he's fighting all the time so we need to be proactive we need to have a lot of people talking about marriage trying to put things positive things out there we've heard so many negative things about marriage that people when they go into marriage they just feel like hey it's a bad thing oh it's hard work yes it is but it can work if you can put in so much time in your job put in so much time in every other thing you do why can you not put in so much time on your marriage your marriage can work if you put in time. So it's my passion, it's my calling, it's what I enjoy doing. I can talk about marriage from morning to night without getting tired. So yeah, that's the favorite thing about my career is that I enjoy it. How do you manage your family work and at the same time this program? How do I manage family work and at the same time this program? Right guys, I've made a video on how I cope as a working parent. I'm gonna link it up on the description section and I'm also gonna put a card I've made a video. I said a lot of things. If you, please go and watch it because I don't want to over say or I, anything I'm going to say here is just going to be a summary. But on that video, it's like it's um, at lay, laid out on um, on the things I do. I just manage. One thing that I'm going to mention on how I manage is a routine. If you don't have a routine in your home, you don't have routine. I don't know how you are coping. So routine for me is one thing that has to be in place for me for anybody not just me doing all i do any home for any home to be managed you have to have routine so routine is one big thing who inspired you to start this um youtube channel my husband my husband he's been talking about it for years in fact the first time he talked about it, i was like are you kidding how do you how do you want me to cope what, how how do you want me to cope? He kept saying that, look, you can do this. I'm like, I can't. I'm working full time. Like, I'm a full time person working. And I've got three young kids. Like, where's the time? When am I going to do this? Like, why are you doing this? Why do you keep, why do you keep telling me to do things that you know I cannot do? I just like, I just, every time he mentions it, I'm just like, oh God, again, oh God, again. Christmas or New Year, when is New Year time for us to write the things we want 
to do because we write down the things we want to do and the things we want our spouses to achieve he, he says it again like, oh my god here we go again youtube again but you know what in february this year that's 2020 i thought about it and i decided so my husband actually inspired me and one other of my friends also inspired me to start and they have been my backbone like these two people have been father bless them bless them um how do you what is the biggest mistake you think you have made so far in your life is not starting this youtube channel because there are so many things i would have it added along the line because YouTube is all about storytelling. It's all about having um, things to show people. People don't like a channel where you just talk about other people. They want to see your own thing. They want to see you showing them you. So, so many things I would have shown you guys. Um, things that I would have um, actually, maybe when I was having Phoebe, I would have shown you guys everything. I, honestly, so I really regret not starting it when... I, my husband had that inspiration for me to start it, but I've started it now, so I don't regret anymore. How do you manage your family as a working parent? I need to know, please. I've made a video on how I manage my family as a working parent. Please find that video. In fact, I'm going to link it again so you can watch it on the description section. So watch the video. I said a lot of things there, which I don't think it will be right for me to start saying that. So that's how I manage my family. What makes you laugh the most? My children and my husband makes me laugh the most. Like when my, my especially my youngest, he just makes me laugh. Like I and Derek just sit back and just laugh. Like he, they, they just make us laugh a lot. So my family makes me laugh a lot. They bring me that ray of sunshine. They make me smile, make me laugh a lot. Who was your first crush? Who was your first crush? Why are you guys just asking this kind of question like this? You want me to come here and be telling you who my first crush is or who my first crush is? <sighs> should I, why you, should I surprise you? Derek was my first crush. <laughs> Derek was my first crush. Like, I'm not going to share the story how we met. Hopefully, if he manages to come to my on this channel we'll talk about how we met and all that but he was actually when i met derek he wasn't even like marriage something but i just liked him so much so much so much um yeah but god saw my heart god knew that this man i love you i want to be with you god read read my heart and god decided to grant my heart desire so Derek was my first crush. The next question is, how do you manage sex with three kids? We manage it. Yes, we manage sex. We manage. We man do, do, do you know that I talk about sex a lot? Do you know that sex is a big thing for me? I talk about sex a lot. Now, let me say something to you. See this girl you're seeing here? She never used to like like sex, right? Not never used to like sex. It's because I was so naive. I, I was young. I got married young. So, you know, when you get married young, it wasn't a big thing for me. I didn't know a lot. But, like I always say, when these eyes opened, the scale fell off. Sex is a big thing for me. Like... It's more beautiful now than it was even when we didn't have kids or anything. It's just getting better by the day. It can be challenging because of the kids, obviously. Just make it work. Marriage is something that you have to make it work. So, however means possible, my sex life cannot die. I refuse my sex life to die. Three kids, sex is even better. Are you going to have more kids? <laughs> Well, I have three kids now and I never ever say I'm not going to have any more because I personally, I'm not one of those people that go into marriage in having in mind, I'm going to have one, I'm going to have to know. For me, my strategy was you have one, can you cope with one? Yes, okay, I'll go for two. You have two, can you cope with two? Yes, i go for three. I've got three now. Can I cope with four? We shall find out. 
but i never say no 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 i'm not gonna have any more no i don't i don't say that because things change change is one thing that you can't just you can't predict anything can change i can just be pregnant now with twins am i going to throw them away no because i am not always fasting and praying when i'm in bed with derek i am having sex with him so i can get pregnant there are things happen even with the contraception and all that things can happen so let the will of god be done how old are you how old am i <laughs> look at this babe guess my age right let's let's make it a, a, a challenge guess my age put it on the comment section and i'm going to respond i'm going to read all the comments and then i'm going to respond what my age is if you guess my age if you guess my age you win a prize i mean people that don't that don't know me i don't mean people that don't know me if you can guess my age you get a prize yes right guys these are the questions that i got from um people that asked me and uh, hopefully in the future i'm going to get i'm going to put out another question for people to ask when i'm going to do another get to know me tag and i've managed to answer them as honest as i can is there any question that you think i did not answer honestly or i did not answer it the way you want to hear it let me know in the comment section so thank you guys for watching be grateful be positive and be yourself see you on my next video